I'm going to show you in this lesson how to start a project using the Easel CNC software. So at this point you should have already um, created a free account in um, Easel and I'll have that those instructions should already be um, to you. So we'll assume we've already done that and we're going to go to file and new and we're going to create a new project. All right, so this is what it should look like uh, in its default mode. I'll show, I'll close up this other um, tab, and there we have it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up here and click on the Untitled, and I'm going to rename it, and I'm just going to call it. Um, actually, I'll put one for under uh, for my hour underscore Miller underscore first project. Right, hit rename, and there I have my project. So we sh we follow that naming um, setup for most of our projects in here. So you do the same thing: one underscore your last name, and then whatever the project's called. All right, so we've got a couple basic things um, over here is our setup. So we have to define what kind of um, what kind of material we're going to use. This is set to a 12 inch wide by 8 inch deep or tall by half inch. Um, deep or thick, excuse me, uh, piece of birch plywood. So if I click on this, I'm going to go ahead and I can change it to a different um, type of uh, type of material. We'll just say MDF, which is stands for medium density fiberboard. I can change it to different types of uh, colors. Uh, you know, we really don't have to mess with that much. But I'm going to make this um, six inches in the X axis. I'm going to make the uh, y axis going to be 3 inches, and the thickness we are going to make 0.25, 4 a quarter of an inch. All right, and we're going to go ahead and just click off of that, and you can see the new piece of material. Now, there's a couple things I can do over here. Um, if I hold down the left mouse button, you'll see that hand grab, and I can orbit around as I'm clicking. Um, I can also zoom in and out to different parts of this. And then if I want to pan over, I can right click and it'll help me pan over as the mouse moves. So again, left mouse is grabbing it, orbiting, zoom in, zoom out with the mouse wheel, and then right click and I can go around like that. And I believe if I hit the home button, oh, that's not going to work over there. All right, there we go. All right, the home button is going to bring me to the home um, set up here. This, you can zoom in and zoom out using this. Um, and then you can go back and forth um, with these uh, controls here. So this is obviously, and I can um, bring us around a little bit, this is the 3D view of what I'm going to carve here. So um, you can do basic shapes. We're just going to go over this real quickly to keep this video short. Your basic shapes are here. You've got a square, which we can grab and move around and make different sizes. Uh, we've got a circle. We can do the same thing there. And you can see as I draw this over here, it actually um, will uh, make a, um, a carving of it. Okay, and we'll show you how to control that in a minute. There's a triangle and so on and so forth. Uh, we'll throw the star in there just to, just to have some fun with it. Okay, so there that is. And then if I want to change the depth, so um, let me go ahead and get rid of these. I can click and just delete them. And I'm going to make this a little bigger. And if I change my depth, this is the depth of the cut right here. I can change the depth of the cut, and you can see it is um, one-eighth of an inch. I can click over here, and it'll snap to that depth, sixteenth and eighth. 3 16th or 1 quarter. And you see if I click on a quarter, it's going to cut all the way through, and that's because this is a 0 0.25 uh, inch material. Now, if I click on this again, I'll go back here to an eighth of an inch, and I can change the cut path. So I can click on, instead of clear out a pocket, cut on the shape path, and you can see it's going to cut around that path, or cut right on that path, I should say. Cut outside the shape path, so now it's going to go outside of that line we, we drew. And if I want to cut inside the shape path, it's going to go inside that shape's path. Um, one thing worth noting is that this is using an eighth inch bit. We'll get into that um, a little bit later. Um, so let's say we're going to do this right here. I'll go ahead and make this a nice big rectangle, and then I'm going to put some text in here. So I'm going to click on some text, 
and we'll just grab some thick text here. Let's see here. We'll go with Homestead. I'm going to double click on it and I'll highlight it and I'll say Miller. Put my name in there. Click on this and go ahead and drag it down like that. Okay, so there's a very simple nameplate that I did. And you can see that uh, what that is going to look like right there. So those are some really simple ways of, of doing a first project and doing a setup. Um, in other videos, we'll get into more tools um, other than just shapes and text. Um, you also have line tools you can play around with. If you hit this, you can, you can um, do different lines like that. And there you have a, you know, you can make your own shapes up. So those are pretty easy. Um, and we'll get into what we call the uh, design library and apps um, in another video. But those are the basics of how you create your first project in Easel.